Hello everyone from Ajax University, Kayseri, Turkey. I am Associate Professor Dr. Ahmet Yajan. And I am Research Assistant Yasemin Nur Korkmaz from the Department of Orthodontics at Faculty of Dentistry. This video will summarize the findings of our latest paper name, Widespot Lesion Formation After Treatment with Full Coverage Ducted Maxilla Expanders, that will appear in the March 2016 issue of the Asia Deal. White spot lesion formation is one of the common side effects of orthodontic treatment. When fixed appliances are placed on the teeth, areas of plaque accumulation are created and maintenance of adequate oral hygiene becomes a challenge for the patient. Increased plaque accumulation results in increased cariogenic activity and demineralization of the animal. The full coverage bonded equilex splint expander is both a tooth and a tissue borne appliance with an enhanced anchorage and is favorable as it prevents unwanted tooth tipping and provides vertical control. Despite its beneficial properties, the bonded appliance may lead to white spot lesion formation through microleakage and increased plaque accumulation. Quantitative light induced fluorescence is a method of white spot lesion detection that provides measurement of mineralization changes in demineralized and surrounding sound animal which are directly related to fluorescence levels. The aim of our in vivo study was to evaluate the effect of full coverage bonded equilex splint expander treatment on white spot lesion formation using QLF. The patients in the experimental group underwent rapid maxillary expansion using a full coverage bonded equilex splint expander that contained a hyrax screw. After reaching the final transverse maxillary width, the equilex splint expander was kept in the mouth as a fixed retainer for one month. The appliance was then uncemented. The mean duration that the appliance was attached to the teeth was 65.1 days. Glass ionomer luting cement was used for bonding of the appliance to the teeth. QLF images of the rapid maxillary expansion patients were taken before cementation and after the cementation of the full coverage bonded equilex splint expander. The images of the untreated control group comprise QLF images taken three months apart. In each subject, the buccal surfaces of 10 anterior teeth were assessed for white spot lesions. In the treatment group, white spot lesion formation was observed in all of the teeth except maxillary right and left canines and right second premolars. The fluorescence levels in the animal decreased during the study period, indicating mineral loss. None of the parameters were significantly affected in the 17 subjects who participated in the control group, indicating that there was no statistically significant demineralization. A statistical comparison of the differences in the parameters between T0 and T1 between the treatment and control groups indicate that changes in the most of the measured parameters were significantly different between the groups except in the maxillary right and left canines and right second premolars. The curious study showed that white spot lesion formation is not only a concern for patients treated with orthodontic pulse and plates, as patients treated with a full coverage bolt expander tended to develop more white spot lesions than control subjects. The mineralization under a full coverage rapid maxillary expander may be associated with inadequate oral hygiene, the dissolution of the cements in the oral environment, seal breakdown or poor bonding strength. We want to thank our co-authors Dr. Suleyman Tanushvili, Dr. Filiz Yacin and Dr. Akin Mamati. And we also like to thank AGO for choosing our article for the video of the month. Mm -hmm.